teaching of the Holy Quran short change the teaching of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and always live a life of saying peace be upon him you know we actually know the difference now you know when you live in a Muslim country you take the religion by just a routine Ada Ada not a ibadah routine just a habit but when you see the difference when you are in a Muslim country you take things for granted you take kindness you take all type of things security you take all type of thing and yes security right right now you could just put a, a ten thousand dollar in your chest right and just lie down tanning in the beach in Qatar for example nobody could bother you right even though the Muslim world suffering tremendously and this is not because of Islam this is because the hate mongers of Islam, against Islam because of the undercover haters of Islam that they are ruining your peace that they are ruining your peace because they want actually to survive and thrive when you have pain when you have fights when you have division when when you are not together and divided anyway took me longer than expected but in a short term in a short term scan your misery scan your pain scan your depression scan your hardship scan your trouble scan your choking life you would find that because you are lacking the oxygen of Islam you are lacking the food of Islam the food of the soul which is the Holy Quran so therefore and those who are pointing the finger and trying to mock Islam I'll tell you wait 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 this is not this is not the minutes that I'm pinpointing today to talk about you if I could tell you something before you mock Islam go find out who's your dad if you know who's your dad right we know who's our dad and and our dad's dad and our dad's dad 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 dad, 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 dad all the way right so before you point the finger and again i said for non-muslims stay on the side my talk for muslims but also you'll have those people who are mocking islam and pointing the finger at islam and belittling islam criticizing islam crucifying islam i tell them another time we could talk about you but i tell you go find out do you know who's your dad do you know you think that dad that you call him daddy is your dad no 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 and i'm being aggressive yes i am being aggressive because the reality of the matter is aggressive before you point your finger at islam and we point 10 fingers at allah to guide you to islam we tell you check out go go me go see your dna right for us muslims right when we follow the islamic ethics right we don't have um fornication and garbageation whatever you want to call it right you know who's the dad you know who's that grandpa you know who's this that anyway so stop pointing the finger at islam going back to the topic alhamdulillah wallahi if i'm in charge of islam i would charge people membership to become a muslim right for the greatness and for the benefits and for the whole combo of goodness you have in Islam but it's free of charge because it's from the Creator who owns everything so therefore my dear brothers and sisters be proud that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala selected you chose you guided you to Islam and may Allah guide you and me to the Iman Iman's higher state Iman the faith so in a nutshell please don't ruin your life please whenever you fall grab the bounds of repentance and stand repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't make an excuse you are not an Arab right Islam for all mankind Islam for the even the jinn right so learn learn and this way you will see that your weakness and your trouble and your pain because you did not learn and if you did learn you did not practice and if you did practice you have no sincerity in your practice so learn 
practice have sincerity may allah keep loving you blessing you stay healthy stay blessed islam is up 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 never down